getting potential clients to your website is half the battle. What happens on that website is equally, if not more important. Have you ever visited a website and had to go to multiple pages just to piece together what they actually did? Or maybe you were interested in a company and when you went to their website, you couldn't figure out where in the world they're actually located? Major trust issues right from the beginning, right? So while getting potential clients to your website is half the battle, what happens on that website is equally, if not more important. And if you can't translate those casual browsers into bookings, then your marketing efforts are gonna fall flat. So there's one thing that might improve that conversion factor on your website, and that's having a clear brand message. So in this video, we're gonna talk about what a brand message is, why it matters, and where to use it. So what exactly is a brand message? Also known as a positioning statement, I've also seen it called a brand bio. It's really just one to two sentences that clearly tells people what you offer, where you are, and why anyone should care. So for the what you offer part, this is like plain English, your services, what someone who's not even familiar with your business would type into Google to find what you offer. So plain language words of what your core services are. Where you are, that's pretty straightforward, your town, your city, your country. And why anyone should care. This is where the door opens wide open. This could be anything from what makes you different in your industry, in your local area, to the big benefits of what you offer. It's something to hook the customer in though, tell them they're in the right place and get them interested enough to just continue reading. Those first two though, the what you offer and where you're located are really non-negotiable, but surprisingly they're often missing from studio websites and social media profiles, two great places where that should be front and center. Which means by you crafting a captivating brand message and putting it in place in those places, you're already gonna be ahead of your competition. So let's look at some examples. So this is an example of a brand message for Mad Dog 5-in-1. Experience the 5-in-1 difference, the Mad Dog difference. Small group fitness classes in St. Joseph, Michigan and online. So they clearly say what they offer, small group fitness, and where they're located, St. Joseph, Michigan, and that they also offer these things online, which is good to know and very relevant right now. And they also have a little uh, hook at the beginning that tells you a little bit about what their difference. You might not know what the five in one difference is right off the bat, but you're interested. You know that there is something different about this business. Another example from the Fitz Pilates. Be a badass with a good ass. Try our killer low impact athletic Pilates classes. Reformer Pilates Studio and Spandex Shop in downtown Huntsville. So we know their core service in plain English again, Reformer Pilates, that's right there and downtown Huntsville, we know their location. And then their hook there is that we're obviously a little different than your traditional Pilates classes. And they get that across with their headline, their language that they're using, and by simply saying we're low impact athletic Pilates. Last example from CoaFit, move better, regain your strength, balance, mobility, and life. Personal training in Boulder, Colorado. So we clearly see that personal training is their plain language. Here's the services that we offer. We see they're located in Boulder. And then we get an idea of the benefits to me, the why do I care factor. Yes, I would love to move better. I would love to regain my, regain my strength and balance, mobility, and life. So in this case, you can tell that CoaFit obviously knows their clients very well, and they know what types of things they come to them for. So you might be thinking now, yeah, my brand message could use a little tightening up, but does it really matter? I've got a ton of things to do today. Who really cares? Well, let me tell you who really cares. Search engines care. The H1 or the big headline tag on your homepage where your brand message will go is one of the key ways Google and other search engines know who you are, what you do, and where you're located so that they can show it to people who want exactly what you're offering. Your first time visitors care. By making all of this important information immediately clear to first time visitors, don't make them scroll for it. You'll decrease confusion and frustration. This will only reduce your website bounce rate, and that's when a visitor views one page and then ditches your website and leaves before viewing other pages, but it will help you convert those browsers into new clients. Your I'm back for a second or third look doing my research potential customers. They care too. So we all know those types, right? The ones that read every review before purchasing, who create lists of pros and cons of each major buying choice. 
Those website visitors are not making any impulse decisions here. They're trying to figure out how your studio is different to the studio down the street. Let's make their decision process as easy as possible by spelling out what makes your studio vibe, your workout results, whatever it is, your instructor friendliness, location, all of those above, whatever it is that makes you so special. Spill it out right on the homepage for them so that they can do their research in a little more efficient manner. The good news is once you've crafted and honed and tweaked this little bit of text, you can use it in a variety of places around the internet and your marketing efforts. You're gonna to wanna to use it in your homepage heading, that big heading that's right across the top, the heading and the subheading when someone initially lands on your website. You're also gonna to wanna to include it in your social media bios when there's space. This gives people a really brief snapshot into what you do and they can make a decision whether they want to go to your website and learn more. Use it on your printed flyers or business cards if you're using those these days or anything else that you're using in real life in your local area to promote your business. You can also use it in your paid ads, so your Google ads, your Facebook, Instagram ads. It's a great grounding piece of brand messaging that you can repurpose in so many different ways. So take a few minutes today to craft your brand message. Get all those ideas out of your brain and get them on paper in a tangible, nice little succinct brand message. And then go out and sync up your brand messaging across all the platforms we discuss, both offline and online. Your overall marketing will thank you for it. Hey everybody, Jessica Lachance here. Do you want more business education for your fitness studio or wellness business? Subscribe to our YouTube channel or our email newsletters and we'll see you here soon.